Hi, and thanks for taking a look at our videos. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to publish your Excel cubed reports and dashboards directly and seamlessly into SharePoint. We've been able to display reports in SharePoint for a few years now using our web part, but the new process is much simpler, so let's take a look. The report we're using is a multi-sheet dashboard, which has been sized for the iPad, but the process is the same for any report. So I just go into the Publish dialog, and here I'm going to enter the URL for my SharePoint server. This will work with SharePoint 2010, 2013 and on standard and enterprise editions. So now I've connected to my SharePoint server. All I need to do is type in the name of my report. And I'm ready to publish it. And now we just need to wait a moment whilst this report gets uploaded. OK, now that's done, I'll switch over to my browser. And if I go into the site pages area, we should be able to see my new report. So here's our mobile video test, and as you can see, we get the standard details and an Excel cube icon to identify it. And if I click on the link, I can then open the report directly in SharePoint. As you can see, it renders exactly as you'd expect. And of course, you still get the interactivity. So I can switch slices. Uh, here I've defined a drill through on my tree map. So if I go through to touring bikes, I can look at the details of that item. And we've got some other reports here. So I can do a breakdown by the cha sales channel. And here I've got an interactive chart, so I can switch to get a view just for Canada. And finally, I've got a map. And in here, I can see a geographical breakdown. And again, I can switch the year. And of course, I can switch which part of the geography I'm looking at. So I'll take a look at New York and see what the data is for that. You can also access a simple slice and dice report. So here I've published a grid to use as a start point. And if I open that, I get the standard ad hoc behavior. So I can drill into my grid. I can pick and choose certain items. And I get all this standard drag and drop functionality that you'd expect with an Excel cube web report. And finally, all the standard SharePoint search features are available. So if I go back to my list, I can search through using the standard SharePoint dialogues. And of course, you also get the benefit of versioning so that you can go through the history of your report as it's changed. So as you've seen, the process of moving an Excel report to any edition of SharePoint has just become very easy. So I hope you found this video interesting, and as always, feel free to send any questions to support at excelcube.com. Thank you.